Good morning. I'm just at the spot where the Chesterfield Canal leaves the river, rather just uh, just on the outskirts of Chesterfield. Sorry, let me just get away. I was going to do some filming um, where the canal and the and the river separated, but it's a bit noisy around there. There's a big digger just uh, just on the bank in the other side. The reason I'm here today, the reason why I've uh, come in here to do a bit of filming is um, we've had a little bit of dry weather recently, have we? We've not had much rain um, and as a result it's caused river levels, reservoirs, whatnots to be uh, to be rather low. So this section of the Chesterfield Canal relies on the river rather to keep its water levels topped up. Now canals Canals do this in a number of ways. I don't know if you remember my Brancliffe feeder video up near Worksop, that also topped up from the River Wrighton. And they also top up from, um, what's it called, Hartill Reservoir. That's another story. Uh, but here, right at the start of the Chesterfield Canal, you can see the Crooked Spire, just the distance there. It gets its feed from the river, rather just where we, uh, we started the video, just down there. So the local authority, uh, I can't remember who it is now, have issued what's called a hands-off order to, uh, to the Chesterfield Canal, which basically means don't feed any water off the river. And what that means is we see low levels on the canal and basically a lack of fresh water. So I thought I'd come down today and just, just have a look at what impact that's had on the canal up at the Chesterfield end. So this is how they control the water um, from the river rather it's only just just around the corner there where the two separate now this isn't a lock you might think it's a lock because it's got a lock gate but this is um, so what's the name for it this would be uh, a sluice as you can see there's no change in levels here the canal doesn't go up or down this is just merely a barrier which you can see is, is closed now. I can't remember what it looked like before, um, but those gates are closed and that is stopping fresh water coming from the river rather down there, downstream on the canal. So I'm gonna have a walk down the canal and just have a look what, what effect that's had on the water levels. So just to add, I checked some old footage and photographs from when I've been here before. Now the last time that I took a photograph here was last April and that gate was closed then as well. But we can see on this photograph from 2018 that that gate is open. It's on the towpath, and look at that, I've never noticed that before. I must have walked past that many times. No Midland Railway plate, just sat buried, uh, buried in the towpath. But I have got the raincoat with me today because that sky doesn't look very um, inviting at the moment. It doesn't look like it's wise to be going out on a walk without a raincoat, so here we go. Um, but we have had some rain over this weekend. I can tell you that because I've been stood in a field for three days. We had a bit of rain on Friday and then it seemed like we had a lot of rain yesterday. Now, I doubt that's going to have much impact in terms of water levels. I think it will need to be quite substantial for a number of days to top those up but um, at least it's give the lawn a little bit of a, a soak in this weekend under the tunnel we go tucked and lock you can see the impact of not having any fresh water flow we've sealed the lock off there I mean, look at that, that's completely dry down there. See the cobbles, the brickwork right on the bottom. Something you don't get an opportunity to see very often. doesn't look to be too much impact on the actual water levels on this section just past Tapton, uh, Tapton Lock but there was a sign so obviously the impact on the canal from this hands-off order is they've had to suspend all boating activities paddle boarding kayaking etc I think if not for water levels I think anyone would want to get in something that looks that 
stagnant. I don't think it'd be too pleasant. Not needed this yet. We're winning at life. So I've moved on a few miles now, um, down to Dixon's Lock, just behind me there. That's the same thing that we're seeing here as well. Look, it's just a uh, sluice gate in there, just, just damming just to keep the water back. Same over there on the overflow. Deep water danger sign. Slightly ironic at the moment, but I suppose still relevant. So that's the other side now, it's visibly lower. It's the lowest I've seen that. Here we go, underneath the bridge at Dixon's Lock, you can see the, uh, the usual water levels there. Quite a few feet down, isn't it? That it's your mile three post, that's three miles from Chesterfield. And you can see here quite visibly over the other side there. The amount of banking you can see, you can see the, the water levels drop quite considerably here. So I've just come on top of this little, uh, I think it's a pipe, I'm not quite sure, I'm quite sure what it is to be honest. Just uh, to get, see if I can get a better vantage point. So you can see, you can see from up here, look, can't you? You can see a lot more banking. It's looking a little bit sorry for itself at the moment, the old canal. So here's Hollingwood Hub just coming up, and here's Madeline looking very sorry for herself. I've actually seen a photograph of it this week with uh, a little bit less water than this. Let's see if I can dig that out. But definitely on a slant there, isn't she? This time of year, start of the school holidays really, she should be, should be out there, it's a bit of a shame really. Different vantage point up on top of what used to be the old Stavely Works railway station. I've done this in another video, but it's always good just to have a look at the old Stavely Works railway station right next to the hub. I've just come up just for a look over the canal. That's the old, that's the old, what was the, uh, what's it called? Over the subway. There we go. All the way over the other side. Here's the hub, still quite busy, it's good to see. So a few days after filming this, the hands-off notice was lifted. So by the time this video goes out, the canal levels are probably back to normal. So there we go. I think we all agree we could do with a little bit more rain. Hopefully it reserves rainy days for my uh, days I'm at work. That's never the case. So on the plus side, I've not needed this. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you very soon.